In another development, the House of Justice, Kaduna, has called on Nigerians, especially residents of the state, to elect competent leaders in the forthcoming elections. They say democratic participation and devotion to human service must be the primary responsibility of any politician seeking office. The human rights lawyers made a call at the 2022 annual summit with a the theme, Democracy and Political Participation, Key Reflection for the Role of the Citizens in a democracy. The situation of democracy in Nigeria is, is not good, but I think Kaduna State is even worse. And early in the morning, I read the speech that says democracy was put people at the center. And we thought that in, in a country and in a state where we are faced with an election year, that the people should be able to make informed decisions as to what they vote. And that will require for the candidates to present their manifesto to those who live in Kaduna State so that they will be able to assess what the candidates are each bringing to the table and then the citizens can decide on who they think is most qualified to lead Kaduna State. Because Kaduna State is a diverse state um, and has been through its own upheavals. But um, democracy is not something we do and conclude. Democracy is something we continue to do. And the policy today to employ teachers has left the schools unattended. This is one of the key areas as far as we are concerned in education we are going to look at. For those that cry foul to those policies by being shortchanged one way or another, we feel they deserve justice. They deserve fairness as such. There will be a committee to review those issues particularly of, of workers before going into, of course, the most important thing that is getting qualified teachers to our schools. They will give free education. Let me tell you, there is no way education is free in the whole world. But you know what we will do? We will make it affordable. Our education will be affordable. Help. When the military was on our train in uh, Shagani, they said they have done our hospitals to near consulting clinics. Subsequent government turned our hospitals to mortuaries. The current government, they turned our hospitals to burial ground. It was well organized, and I even put the fact that we started a little bit behind schedule. But it was a good opportunity for us to tell the people of Kaduna State the direction that the state is heading towards and that they shouldn't make the mistake that they made in 2015 and in 2019. They should come out, let them know the solution. They should come out and ensure that they bring the change that will wipe the tears from their eyes. Oh, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.